What's up you guys? Putting a hitch on your Jeep Renegade can take it to some really fun places like camping, trail bike riding, you can even tow a U-Haul trailer to just about anywhere in North America. Come on, let's go ahead and break this hitch install down and get you outdoors. You will need the tool seam here to complete this installation. Okay, so we're going to start by removing two access panels, one behind each tire. Um, you can see that this is the access panel here and to, to remove them, there's two Phillips screws, one here and one down at the bottom here. And we're just gonna use an offset uh, Phillips to loosen them and remove them. Okay, now that we have the screws backed out, we're not gonna take them out completely. We're just gonna back them out almost till they come out. And then, uh, because they're connected to a clip that goes uh, on the inside of the paneling there. So basically what we're gonna do is just wiggle it around until it pops out just like that. Same thing on the bottom one. Wiggle it around and it'll pull right out. Now we can go ahead and just take the paneling out set it aside and we'll go ahead and do the same thing on the passenger side. Okay, our next step is to remove the plugs that are inside the frame of the vehicle. Those will be uh, our attachment points. We have three of them, one here, one at, towards the rear of the vehicle on the side of the frame, and then one at the bottom of the frame here. Now, if your vehicle is a Trailhawk model, instead of these plugs, you're gonna see bolts in there. You'll just remove the bolts and reuse them to install the hitch. But since this is not a Trailhawk model, we are removing the plugs. And then we'll be putting our own hardware in there provided by the hitch manufacturer. And then we'll repeat the exact same steps on the passenger side. Okay, our next step is to clear away the cloth that's around the frame um, up the side and on the bottom and we'll be doing that with a utility knife, a box cutter knife or the flat edge of a, a flathead screwdriver so we'll go ahead and start clearing that away and we'll need to do that on both sides as well. Okay, and we've got that cleared away enough now that the hitch will go up there without any obstruction from the car. We'll do the same thing on the driver's side. Okay, so now we get the provided hardware into the frame and then out so that we can bolt our hitch down. Um, to do that, we're gonna be using a fish wire. We're gonna put it in through an access hole that's there and then through the hitch attachment hole and then attach our hardware and pull it through. Okay, and we can clearly see that the, uh, the, our access hole here is not big enough for our hardware. So we're gonna to have to widen that out a little bit and I'll show you how to do that with the saw here. Okay, so I'll be using an air saw to enlarge my hole and basically I'm just gonna cut a little notch 
right in this area here. And that'll allow me to put my hardware through and back out the attachment holes. Okay, as you can see that in order to get our hardware to be able to go in and out of the frame there, we, we did have to do a, a, a quite a bit of cutting here and edging around the original hole. So basically we just slotted the hole out from, from its uh, diameter out on each side here. And now we can go ahead and go into the fish wire process of getting our, our um, hardware fish wire through the frame and out through the attachment points. We'll go ahead and do that now. We have our access holes enlarged enough to where we can fit our provided hardware through. Um, we're gonna take our pull wire here or fish wire and we're gonna put it through the hitch attachment hole and then come out the hole we just enlarged. Then we'll attach our hardware to it and then pull it through and it'll come right out the hitch attachment hole. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to start with the most forward hole here. My fingertip, so I'm just going to put a little bit of pressure and then guide it through just like that. Okay, now we can go ahead and attach our hardware to it. Okay, so I'll go ahead and put our carriage plate through first. And then we will screw on the bolt. Okay, now we're ready to push the hardware into the frame. And we're just gonna pull on the wire here until it comes out of our attachment hole. Just like that. Now we'll go ahead and do the, mo the same thing on the most rear hole. Okay, and the last hitch attachment point is going to be the hole that we just enlarged. So on the bottom of the frame here, we're gonna do this, we're gonna push our hardware in and then just pull straight back down. So we're gonna go ahead and attach our carriage bolt and plate before we do any fishing. And again, we're just gonna push it right into the hole. Also, we're going to try and make sure that the short end of the uh, spacer here is facing towards the rear of the vehicle. So push the long end in first, all the way in, and then push straight back down. There's our three attachment points on the driver's side. We'll go ahead and do the same thing on the passenger side.
Okay, now that we have our pull wires and hardware through the frame, I'll go ahead and point out what they're gonna be attaching to on the hitch. So on the side of the frame, we've got an attachment point here and here. And then at the bottom of the frame, we also have an attachment point here. This is where we enlarge that hole. So now to get the hitch up into place, what we're going to do is uh, first put the wire through our attachment holes, all three of them on each side, and then push our hardware back into the frame, raise the hitch up into place, and then pull on our wire and it'll come right through the attachment holes again. So let's go ahead and do that. Today I'm gonna to be using a, a U-Haul exclusive hitch jack. If you don't have one of these, it's a good idea to get a second set of hands. It, it can be pretty heavy and cumbersome to put this hitch up. Okay, now that we have our pull wires positioned into the attachment holes, we can go ahead and raise up and not worry about losing our hardware in the frame. Okay, and as the hitch is going up into place, we gotta push our hardware back into the frame so that it's, that it's out of the way of the hitch as we're going up. Okay, now that we have the hitch level and the holes lined up, we should just be able to pull on our fish wire and bring the hardware right back through. And now we're on the driver's side, we're just gonna do the same thing. We're gonna take our fish wire and pull on it and bring our hardware through the hitch. Okay, so now that we have our hardware through the hitch, we're gonna go ahead and remove our pull wires. And you can either untwist them off or just pull them straight down and they'll, they'll come pulling right off. And I just untwisted mine. And as soon as we take that pull wire off, we're gonna take the provided nut and carefully spin it on, not it, being aware of not to put the, push the hardware back into the frame. Basically, I'm gonna hold it with one finger and screw on with the other hand here. Okay, that one's on and not going anywhere. We'll move to the next one. And you are putting these nuts on pretty blind, so um, just take your time. No, uh, you'll, you'll, you'll eventually get that started on there. Okay, we'll go ahead and do the same thing on the passenger side. Okay, on the most forward bolt on the passenger side, I'm not able to get my hand in there to hold the bolt from falling back into the frame. So I just took a flathead screwdriver and I'm gonna press up against it there while I put the nut on. Okay, and last what we'll have to do is get the pull wire off the bolts that are coming through the bottom of the frame and then put our nuts on those as well. Those are pretty simple. Okay, now that we have the side bolts uh, with nuts on them and snug down, we're gonna go ahead and do the bottom ones here. We're just gonna take our pull wire off by unscrewing it, taking it down. And then we want to put our provided spacer through the bolt and then put our nut on it. Okay, just like that. And we'll go ahead and do the same thing on the passenger side.
Okay, just like that. Now we can go ahead and snug these up by hand and then we'll take our torque wrench and torque it all down to spec. Okay, so now we're ready to torque down the bolts. I'm gonna start with the bottom bolts, the ones that are on the bottom of the frame so that it raises the hitch up. Um, and I'll be doing that with a six inch extension and three quarter inch socket, a, a short three quarter inch socket. Um, you are in a tight space here, so um, if, if you'd like, you can use uh, any type of swivels or longer extensions. Um, I, I just see, find it easier just to use this uh, shorter one here. passenger side. Okay, now we can go ahead and move on to the side bolts on the side of the frame there. Okay, now we're moving on to the uh, driver's side on the side frame bolts. Um, there's a couple of different ways you can torque these down. You can use um, a, a series of extensions and swivels to get through here. Um, I just found it easier for me to use a, a, just your basic torque wrench with a short three quarter inch socket and go up the side of the hitch. Same thing on the passenger side. Okay, now our last steps are to put the paneling back in behind the tire. Hopefully just line it up and plug it in. Tighten those back down with the Phillips angle here. Okay, we'll do the same thing on the driver's side. Okay, and that's gonna do it for our hitch install on the Jeep Renegade. Um, as you can see, we have a nice uh, round tube stylish design. Uh, this hitch is a two inch receiver. So this is two inch square. It's a nice size safety chain loops here. And let's go ahead and get this vehicle down on level ground and get you some important measurements so uh, for your towing or accessory needs on the hitches. So Okay, now that we have the vehicle on level ground, let's go over a few important measurements. Your ground clearance from the bottom of the hitch is gonna be six and three quarters of an inch. Um, to the top of the receiver tube from the ground, that's gonna be nine inches. That's gonna help you determine um, what size rise you'll need or drop for towing a trailer. Um, and then from the pinhole to the rear edge of the bumper is gonna be five inches and that'll help you determine any accessory that has a vertical post on it. Thank you for watching our video. Have fun, be safe, enjoy the outdoors. To learn more about the products seen in this video or to schedule an installation by U-Haul Hitch Professional, visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com.